Welcome to this short video on setting up a secure wireless network. If you want to set up a secure wireless network, there are actually only five things you need to know. And here they are. The first one, you need to know your router, username, and password. And you can get that simply by looking at the manual that came with the router or looking it up in Google. The next thing you need to know is your router's IP address. The default IP address. You can also look this up in your manual or look it up on Google. It's usually something like 192.168.0.1, 1 1.1, or 2.1. The next thing you need to know is your computer's IP address. The reason that you need to know your computer's IP address is in order to connect to the web interface from your computer to your router. Your router and the computer need to be on the same network. Okay, so here's an example of a computer and a router that's on the same network. You'll see here that you have 192.168.1, 192.168.1. Okay, if you have a, a router that's on, say, this network and it breaks, then you go to store and you buy another router and its default IP address is this you take it home and then your computer is on this network what's going to happen you're going to have you're going to have a router with this IP address and a computer with this IP address those two don't match you're going to type in the IP address like you were told to access the web interface and nothing's going to happen so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to change your computer's IP address or you can just simply reboot your computer and it should automatically pick up an IP address from the router that's this is a little bit out of the scope of this short video so I'm not going to get into all that right now if you want to know more about how to change your computer's IP address you want to go to this site here which goes into gory detail about exactly how IP addresses work, how to change your IP address in Windows XP, how to change your IP address in Windows Vista, which is pretty much the same thing as Windows 7. Okay, this whole discussion of IP addresses and subnet masks not matching up and how the whole thing works can get really deep. Um, if you're interested in learning more about that, you can always go to either one of these websites over here okay so now we have our computer's IP address we have our routers IP address we have the admin password to log on to the router and we're pretty much set all we really need to know now is what our SSID is and what our encryption type is and what our passphrase is okay well where do we look these things up we don't look these things up. These are for us to decide what we want them to be. Now your SSID is simply the name you want to give to your home network. You can name it after your dog, you can name it after your girlfriend, you can name it after your favorite baseball team. The encryption type, you don't have as much leeway. Typically the encryption types available now from oldest to newest and most effective are WEP, WPA, WPA2. You want to go with WPA2 whenever you can. If you have older devices, you want to go to WEP. The next thing is a passphrase. Okay? This is simply a phrase or a single word or a whole sentence containing anywhere from 8 to 64 characters, assuming that you're going to be using WPA or WPA2, that you can easily remember. And once you are armed with all this information, you're ready to log on to your router and set it up. Okay, so we have it in our head exactly what we need to do. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing we wanted to know was what is our router's username and password? Well, that depends on the router. Nine times out of ten, it's usually a combination of admin and password or admin and blank. Okay, we can try those, we can try different combinations, 
or we can just simply go to Google and look for it. So the name of my router is a WNDR3700 and then I'm going to simply type in default username and it comes up with exactly what we're looking for on its own and then we can pretty much pick any of these things that we want let's just check this okay it gives us it gives us all the information we want right there admin password default IP address let's just check another place uh, this is a PDF. It's always a good idea to get a PDF download of your manual just in case you lose it, like I did. And you want to go up and you want to say Control F and type in D E F A L T password. And as if by magic, it finds exactly what we're looking for. And there we have it admin, password. 192.168.1.1 okay so we'll make a mental note of that and we will now figure out what is our computers IP address so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to start run and this is XP on Windows Vista it'll be a little bit different we we'll just type in directly into that little field that we have down here type in CMD for command line hit enter pulls up the command line and then we say IP C O N F I G and that's pronounced IP config for IP configuration utility and then what we want is we want the utility to tell us everything it knows so we go forward slash A L L hit enter and there we go our IP address on our computer is 192.168.1.101 and the IP address of our router is 192.168.1.1 so does this match up does this 192.168.1 match up with this 192.168.1 yes it does if this was a 2 or a 0 in there we'd be having problems but it's our lucky day and we have a computer with an IP address that is on the same network as our router. So what does that mean? That means that we can type in our router's IP address into our web interface and log on to the router with the information that we found. So let's cheat a little bit and just copy this right out of the document and just say go and there we are it's asking us to log into the router and what do we find our user and password to be admin password so let's type in admin p a s s w r r d log in and we're in our router we are minutes away from having this router set up securely okay now I just want to let you know something from this point on the screens that you see and the screens that I'm showing you here may look totally different okay because you may not have the same kind of router that I have and it really doesn't matter because the terminology and the concepts are still the same what we're going to do here is we're going to set our wireless settings. So you just basically start going up and down this menu and look for, oh, there it is, wireless settings. You got basic settings, wireless settings. There's usually a couple of other things like advanced wireless settings. Okay, don't, you don't want to bother with that right now. You just want to go up here near where it says basic wireless settings. Okay, now, like I said, it's not going to say the same thing on your router unless you have the same thing I do but basically we're looking for the same thing so what are we looking for we're looking for a place to type in our SSID and our encryption key and choose our encryption type 
So now that we know what we're looking for, let's look for it. Well, look, there you go. SSID. Encryption type. Now, on this router, it's a little bit different. On this router, what I have is I have what you call a dual band router. So it's asking me the same questions twice. So don't get overwhelmed by all this. This is just a 2.4 gigahertz network I can set up over here. And then I can set up a 5 gigahertz network down here. The procedure is identical on both of them. So let's just go ahead and give our network a name. Okay, let's just uh, call this network a wingding. And this is a little bit out of the scope of this course. The default is fine for our purposes. So it gives us the option to choose WPA2, WPA, and WPA2. So what this means is if we have a WPA device, it'll work. If we have a WPA2 device, it'll work using the same password. So that's that's usually the best choice. So let's click with that. And now it's asking us for a passphrase. Okay, so uh, let's just come up with a passphrase. And I'm going to cheat and copy that and use it again. And Let's just do the same thing for this network down here. So we're going to call this network Dingaling. So we have wing ding and dingaling. Same pass phrase. Apply. Important. Okay, basically what this is saying is we made the selection of WPA and WPA2. We did this out of respect for the fact that we may have some older devices on our network that are still using WPA encryption. Okay, well this is just telling us that hey, we want to let you know that uh, if you use this encryption, you're not going to be able to get the full end support, which is 130 megabits per second or 300 depending on how you set your channels. So, do we care? At this point, that's really up to you. It's up to you to say, well, hmm, I have this on my network and I, or I don't have this on my network. If everything I have is brand spanking new and it's all WPA2, then we just switch it down to WPA2 AES, which, which is the latest and greatest encryption. But since this is supposed to be a quick video, we're not going to get involved in all that. Let's just click OK. And then it's giving us the same message again for the second network. And there we have it. <clears throat> this router is now set up with wireless security. By my count, that whole thing took less than 10 minutes. And most of that was due to me talking. So if you subtract me talking, we're only talking about a five minute operation here. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to use one of these setup CDs, but they can take a lot longer than five minutes. In fact, a lot of times they can take a lot longer because they'll lead you down some confusing path and ask you questions you don't know how to answer. And then even if you get it right, you still don't really know what you did. And then later when you're trying to hook up more computers to your network, you have no idea as to anything such as your SSID, your passphrase, your encryption type, anything. Do it like this, you know exactly what you did and exactly how to undo it if you need to. Okay, well the only thing left for us to do on this particular wireless network is to connect our computers and wireless devices to it. And that's going to be really easy. Why? Because we already know what it is we've got going on here. We have two networks. One's called Wingding and one's called Dingaling. And they have this passphrase in it. It's going to be a simple matter of going from computer to computer, typing in that information, which will take only a couple of minutes, and we're connected. And I'll show you how to do that in my other videos. And if you don't like typing, there are also things called WPS and 
Windows Connect Now that you can use to make this process even faster. With WPS, it's just a simple matter of pushing a button or typing in an eight-digit PIN. With WCN, you can basically save your settings from your router to a flash drive, take that flash drive over to a computer, plug it in, one mouse click, and boom, you just added that computer to the network. Those are some other things that I cover at this website.